Back to the Future Day. Marty McFly and Doc Brown travel to this day in history and Back to the Future 2. And that time travel revealed a few things like we'd all have self-tying shoelaces, the Cubs would win the World Series, and Dennis Pitta would return to the practice field. Hey, one out of three ain't bad. Sorry, Cubs fans. Well, they didn't mention the last thing about Pitta, but that actually did happen today. The Ravens tight end returned to practice for the first time since suffering a dislocated hip last year. It's been a long road back for Pitta, who has suffered two serious injuries to that same hip, but now he's taking a huge step forward in terms of playing football again. It's good for me to be to be back out there, you know, uh, emotionally, mentally, um, and, and I felt pretty good physically, obviously. Uh, you know, it's, it's just a start, and it's day one. I, you know, I haven't been playing much football over the past year, so, um, you know, hopefully I can, I can get more comfortable over the next uh, few practices and, uh, you know, try and get back where, where I want to be. Now, Dennis can practice for the next three weeks before deciding whether he's actually going to suit up for any games this year, so we'll continue to keep you posted on his progress. And on a separate note, a hot topic this week has been Coach Harbaugh's clock management at the end of Sunday's game. Well, today, he opened his press comments by going through the specific plays in question. If you're someone who loves those nitty-gritty details of football, check out his full press conference. And I also broke it all down in the story about the Ravens wanting to improve their two-minute offense. And if you're someone who likes the more casual content, doesn't love all that X's and O's stuff, we've also got you covered with another installment of Funny Pages coming out tomorrow. You know that's always good for a few laughs. Now that's it for me today, but we've got a lot coming your way over the course of this week, so I'll see you again tomorrow on The Final Drive.